Hello, my dear students. You say you have learned calculating gross profit and net profit. You calculate gross profit by preparing trading account and you calculate net profit by preparing profit and loss account from the given trial balance. And that net profit is then taken to the balance sheet and added to the capital and you prepare the balance sheet and tally the balance sheet. This much you have already learned. And you know my dear students, the CBSC has given a new thing in your syllabus. And that new thing is the calculation of operating profit. You have calculated net profit. Now net profit is calculated by deducting out of gross profit all expenses including administrative expenses, selling expenses, financial expenses and also including in gross profit, adding to gross profit, non-operating incomes. So net profit includes all incomes and it is calculated after deducting all expenses. So when you have to calculate operating profit, now operating profit is the difference between gross profit and only operating expenses. Gross profit and operating expenses. I'm going to say when you prepare your trading account, you calculate gross profit. The gross profit is taken to the credit side of profit and loss account, okay? Now, on the debit side of the profit and loss account, you will write only operating prof uh, expenses. What are operating expenses? That are incurred in purely the operation of the business. It will include two types of expenses. One is administrative expenses, like salary is paid to the clerical staff. This is an operating expenses. Printing and stationery is an operating expenses. Postage, telephone, telegram, insurance, they are operating expenses. All these will be written, depreciation also. All these will be written on the debit side and deducted out of gross profit that that will be give, that will give you the operating profit in in addition in addition to the administrative expenses you will also deduct uh, what are known as selling expenses what are selling expenses selling expenses are salesmen's salaries is a selling expense then you know carriage is of two types one is carriage inward which was written in trading account carriage outward is a selling expense it is a home delivery service when the goods are delivered to the consumers at their homes this is carriage outward so this is a selling expense advertising and publicity is another also a selling expense so sometimes some debtors whom the goods were sold on credit, they do not pay the amount. This is a bad debt. This also is a selling expense. So you will write administrative expenses and selling expenses and deduct both these out of gross profit. Okay, that will give you the operating profit, right? Then the third part will be to calculate net profit. First part is calculating gross profit, second part is calculating operating profit and third part is calculating net profit. I repeat, earlier you have learned in two parts. First part gives you gross profit and earlier the second part gave you net profit. Now second part is divided in two parts. The first part will give you operating profit and the second part will give you the net profit. Once the operating profit is calculated, to this operating of profit, we will add all other uh, non-operating incomes. And once all other non-operating incomes are added to the operating profit, then we will deduct from this all non-operating expenses. What are non-operating expenses which are not concerned with the operation of the business? 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल परचेज ऑफ ए लॉटरी टिकट इज ए नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस ओके सो सच नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस आर टू बी रिटर्न ऑन द डेबिट साइड इंटरेस्ट पेड ऑन लोन इट इज ए नॉन ऑपरेटिंग इट इज ए फाइनेंशियल कॉस्ट नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंस सो दीज नॉन ऑपरेटिंग एक्सपेंसिस विल बी डिडक्टेड आउट ऑफ द टोटल ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग प्रॉफिट एंड अदर नॉन ऑपरेटिंग इनकम्स एंड वी विल गेट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेट प्रॉफिट सो दिस इज हाउ द नेट प्रॉफिट इज कैलकुलेटेड आई विल डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट बिफोर यू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट द the the operating profit and net profit and in this case i have taken a problem and in that problem gross profit is already given and one thing more i will tell you for your information my dear students when you calculate gross profit from the trading account we find two sides of the trading account the debit and credit the credit side will include sales okay and sales is an operating income and debit side consists of opening stock purchases and uh, carriage inward and uh, wages paid to the workers all these are also operating expenses but they are related to production so the gross profit that is calculated in the trading account indicates the production efficiency i had earlier also told you the gross profit is an indication of indication of production efficiency so therefore out of the gross profit we will deduct the uh, operating expenses to find out operating profit and then we have the calculation of the net profit by adjusting non operating incomes and non operating expenses so here is the problem that i gave you this problem is uh, problem on how to find out net operating profit look here i have highlighted the gross profit this is given to you you don't have to prepare trading account gross profit is already given to you 85000 so we will start uh, we will start with the uh, gross profit on this side we will write by gross profit we will write here by gross profit so how much is the gross profit gross profit is 85000 gross profit we will start with gross profit and uh, gross profit is 85000 then we have these expenses uh printing and stationery it is an operating expense carriage outward is an operating expense advertising operating salary operating rent is operating lighting is operating insurance is operating bad debts operating audit fees is operating then we have donation received and here also interest on investments received this is an income this is an income interest on investments income and uh, donations received non operating this interest on income is also non operating interest on investment is non operating then interest on loan this is a, to be written in non operating general expense is operating loss on sale of machinery it is non operating rent received is non operating income loss by fire non operating loss gain on sale of land non operating gain lottery income non operating income charity charity is the non operating expense and lottery ticket is also non operating expense so i will just uh, take these items one by one i will just first write to administrative expenses administrative expenses first of all we will write administrative expenses these administrative expenses are operating expenses printing is 1000 i write here printing printing 1000 then i have 
printing is written. Carriage outward, I told you this is selling expense. Advertising is also a selling expense. Salaries is administrative. Salaries are how much? 40,000. Rent paid 8,000 administrative. Then lighting administrative. Two thousand. Then we have insurance, one thousand seven hundred. Bad debts is a selling expense. Audit fees, six hundred. Audit fee 600. Interest on investments. This is non operating income. Donation is non operating income. Interest on loan. This is non operating expense. General expenses 2500. Then we come to selling expenses. Selling expenses are also selling expenses are also operating expenses. Administrative expenses, look here, all these are administrative expenses. Now I write selling expenses. Selling expenses are carriage outward. And advertising bad debts. This is carriage outward, this is advertising, and this is bad debts 500, 800, and uh, 400. 500. 500, 800, and 400. This is it. Now, these are operating expenses, administrative and selling. These are also operating expenses, administrative. Now, on this side, we have gross. So, we will now find out here the Operating profit, I told you, operating profit is the difference between gross profit and all operating expenses. No non-operating expense will come here, only operating expenses and so we will have the total of this side here, the total is 85,000. It is 85,000 and here we will have operating profit. This is the total of the credit side brought here. We will deduct all these out of 85,000 and we will get the operating profit and the operating profit is here. 7 so 27500 is the operating profit it will come here because we have to calculate net profit now i write here operating profit it is 27500 Twenty-seven thousand five hundred. 
Now, what are the non-operating expenses? We'll write all non-operating expenses here. Non-operating expenses are 